Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away, and I know you're asking the question. What's in the box? And I'm about to answer that now, we have got box one of the Agora Models LaFerrari. So it was only last week that I announced a new model and believe me this week is going to be a week of new builds and new builds and kind of new builds where we've got the next pack of that makes sense <laughs> but the Ferrari today now I'm going to be building the red one remember if you're an Agora Advantage Club customer then you can get the black one you have the option of purchasing the black one but I'm going to be doing the red one uh, so let's open the box and see what's in here so it all starts with a brochure here which is in a nice plastic bag I've never seen that from Agora Models before. Let's open this up and have a look at this. Now, 1.8 car, but I have seen their posters before. So I'm guessing, because of the way this folds out, this is gonna be a poster. But this is what the car is gonna be looking like. Now I have seen the prototype for this car. Once again, that is in the video that I've pinned up here uh, when I introduced this car to you. Also, if you do wanna get this yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. But it is one of those things that I've just had to zoom out to show you everything you've got. Once again, you've got the engine roar and horns. You've got working headlights, electrically opening doors, uh, a detailed engine, super technology cockpit. And I do believe, as you can see here, this is actually powered by remote control. So uh, this is going to be fun. And then the bit I like doing, because I always like this, all of the Agora models come with these posters. Check out the size of this one. You ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> That looks absolutely brilliant. You know, I think it'd be looking pretty good if you had the space to display all the fo posters that I've done from Agora Models. I wouldn't need wallpaper. I could just use the posters. <laughs> okay, we've got quite a few stages in this pack by the look of it. That's why ugh, this box is so big. So rather than show you each individual stage, I think we'll get cracking on it and I'll show you them one at a time. So I guess without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, you know my thoughts on this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Having all the screws we're gonna need right at the start. Not so good when you've had some screws fall out. I'll have to try and figure out what pack they've come from. By the look of it, they're all the same screw. We'll figure that out in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is just lay these off camera at the moment so I can get to them nice and quickly. But having the screws right at the start, definitely the way to go. There we go, those screws fell out of A. So at least I know where they come from. Let's put them back. Just so you know, all the screws do have the label on the bag like that. So as you can see, I've laid them all out at the moment. Uh, every letter is accounted for, apart from J. I haven't got anything for J, so hopefully I don't need J screws. Uh, we also got three additions, which are AA, BB, CC. So the only ones you shouldn't have, and this is where I get to show you my party trick now. Are you ready for this? You should have ZYXWV, UTSRQP, ONMLK, no J, IHG, FEDC, BA. Yes, I can say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> I don't know, the useless bits of knowledge that you have when you're growing up. Let's do pack one. And pack one starts with stage one. Check that out. It looks like a lot of these builds, we do start with the front grille section. I don't know why that is, but as you can see in here, we do have a screwdriver as well. Let's get this open. The first thing I wanna do is take out this lovely section here. Look at that. Paintwork is flawless on this. And I do need the little Ferrari badge as well. Now just to show you a couple of other things we've got. We've got this little LaFerrari uh, like number plate here with some adhesive on the back. And once again, we do have this screwdriver. Now this is a PHO screwdriver. It looks very much like a wearer actually. I've got a funny feeling I might be using this going forward. And the only thing we're going to be doing in stage one is taking the badge. It's got a keyhole pattern on it. And we're going to be putting it in here just like this. Now I'm gonna check the fit to see if it is gonna fall out. It is, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue around here to keep that in place. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. I'm just gonna dot it just around the edge there, just enough to keep this into place. Now I know a lot of you, when you saw me tapping that in, they're gonna say, what is that magical device you're putting your glue in? It's one of the most asked questions on the channel. All it is, is an Archimedes drill or a pin vise with just a normal pin stuck in the end of it. That's it, it's nothing special. <laughs> but that is all there is to do in stage one. In stage two, 
very strange to be going straight to this now. We've never done this before. We're going straight to the driver's seat. And I love the material. You see, it's sort of like a, a material that can be manipulated here. Let's get all these parts out. The only hard section on this is this part here, which is the base. And it's the base that we need first because I'm about to put the top onto the base, two lugs here into two holes. So it's going in like that. Now this is the first time we get to make some screws and we need to put two B screws through these holes here. And I'm guessing the A and B screws are the ones we're gonna be using the most. I'm just checking if this is magnetized and as you can see it is. Let's see what this screwdriver's like. I like this over the one I'm using at the moment because the handle on it gives you a lot more torque. And I'm pleased to say, oh, I like it. I like this screwdriver. This might be my go-to new favorite. Just put one in there as well. Perfect. On the back, we're just gonna be covering this section up with the back panel. This is hard as well. I thought it was just the base, but this back is hard as well. That's just gonna go on just like that there and it locks into the recesses. It should hold itself in, no problems at all. But if you wanna put some glue in here, I think I will just touch some glue just into these points here. So it actually links into these. You can see the lugs on this side where it actually goes. So as long as I've put a little bit of glue in there, that's gonna be ample to keep that into place. You don't wanna be caking the whole back in glue. Once again, put that in. And that's not going anywhere. Perfect. And then again, just with a little tiny bit of glue, because I don't want these falling out when I'm mucking around with the innards of the vehicle. I'm just going to put some glue just into these channels just here. Because we've got the head cushion just to go on the top. This has got slats, you see. Line that up and get that in. And there we go, that's not moving. And that is the seat completed. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage three, we're going to be doing the front splitter aileron. And as you can see, we've got the rear tire here. This is what the tire looks like. It's quite soft, so I don't think we're going to need to put these in water. We do have sponge in the inside. Put that to one side. And the two parts we've got here, as you can see, this is plastic. This is the uh, front splitter. And then the aileron. If I'm saying that right, is metal looking just like that. So bringing over what we created in stage one, this aileron, <laughs> hope I'm saying that right, is just going to go into the bottom of the front section here like that. It's going to be held in with an A screw. This is a metal screw, putting it in some oil. And I know you're all going to tell me off for not putting my part work upgrade mat down. I promise I will do it later. But just for this section here, I will screw this in without the mat. Because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> and there you go. That's in place like that. Still working on this piece here. We're going to now put the front splitter on, which looks like that. It's going to go around this way and it fits over the lugs here. So it's going to go on just like that there. This one, once again, is held in with the A screws. And remember, oil is your friend. This is, if this is the first time that you've watched my channel, the reason I use oil is because it, it makes your life easier going into metal. Because there is paint in those threads and the oil helps to cut that paint from the thread. You want to put it tight, but not too tight when you're working with plastic on metal, otherwise you'll end up splitting. You don't want to do that. So I always say hand tight and then try and turn it another little five degrees. That should be ample. So four screws here. I've done two on this side already. I'll just do the two on the other side. You might be asking yourself, Wayne, what's with the uh, husky voice this morning? I can go quite deep. Believe it or not, that's uh, the remnants of Friday at the MCM Comic Con. I was shouting so much, my uh, voice decided to forsake me. <laughs> and there we go. That's in place. And that looks like that. Excellent. And that is that stage complete. Yeah. 
in stage four, we've got the first wheel rim. This is actually the rear left wheel rim we're doing here. And I'll tell you now, this is all metal and it's really heavy. Look at that. <laughs> this looks good. I like it. We do also have a hub with the Ferrari logo on there. Now in the instructions, it shows you that you need to soak this in water. I think we don't need to do that. I reckon this is gonna fit no problems at all. If you do have really stiff rubber, then you might do, but let's see if I can get on without putting this in water. As you can see, no problems whatsoever. So I'm just gonna get the rim in here on this side, like this. Be aggressive with it. <laughs> because I just want it to fit inside this lip here. A bit like doing a bicycle tire, as you can see. And then check the other side and make sure that that's tight against the rim here. And that's perfect. So one side, and there's the other side. Now, even though the tire is complete, we want to keep these hubs safe. So I'm going to keep these with the screws because I'm guessing that these are going to be going on as soon as the tire is actually on the main vehicle. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage five, I might have to succumb because we've got the main bonnet here. I might have to put my part work upgrade mat down because I don't want to get this scratched. So we do have two hinges here. These hinges are metal, as you can see. Them to one side. This is what the bonnet's looking like. Absolutely lovely. Let me bring up my mat which is in definite need of a clean. I'm having it around this way because I'm just gonna be putting these hinges into place. Now to put these hinges in, we want them to be facing down this way and we want them to follow the shape of this little kidney section here. So this is gonna go on this way like that. So you can see that the hinge is facing down. We're gonna hold that in with a C screw. I've got one of them loaded up already. Bit of oil, and drive that through the center there. You want to make sure this is quite tight because you don't want loose hinges. And I'll do the same just on the other side. And they're in nice and tight. They should look like that. And that, once again, is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage six here, I've got some internal details of the bonnet. So I've got a bonnet airfoil first, which looks like that. As you see, I have taken my mat away, so I'm gonna have to hold it just like this here. And this is gonna be going over the points here. So this is gonna go on just like that there. So it's facing down like that. Now we're not screwing that in yet because we do have, let me gently put that down. This section here, which is going over the top of that and it's fitting over this whole section there. So now you can see we've got four screw holes to put this in with. Now they're gonna be put in with D screws. So I'll keep that in my hand this time and I'll put the screws in like this. The only reason I'm uh, reluctant to use the mat is because it's dirty and I'm very much embarrassed. I need to get it washed. So, uh, that's just my own personal thing. <laughs> Get the last two screws in. And this is the last one going in here. That's another stage complete. Let me just show you what this looks like. And there you go. Not bad. Now we're moving away from tires, seats, and front sections of the car, because we're moving on to the engine now, which means we're going to start working on the air box first. And as you can see, we have two silver Ferrari logo stickers here, which we're going to be putting on to the air box. Now, if I have the air box this way round, you can see where these are going to go, because they've already painted some sections on here like this, but we want these sections to be raised. So I take off the protective film just from the top of these. And I've got my tweezers here and start putting these on. Now 
Now you just want to line it up with the painted section underneath so you get a nice raised section like that. And just do the same on the other side. This material's already got adhesive on it. So as long as you don't touch the other side, you should be able to line this up no problems at all. And when you're happy with the location of it, just push it down like that. And there you go. That looks pretty impressive. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Which leads us to the last stage of this pack. This is stage eight. We're gonna be doing the left hand head cover. So it's all to do with the engine at the moment. Now, any of the tools I'm using from my glasses here to sprue cutters, which I'm about to use, are all in my Amazon store. And I have put a link down here to my Amazon store for the UK and the US. So let's uh, get these cut off. These are the plug caps. And the first thing we're going to do, once I've cut those off, is take the head cover here. And we've got this lovely bit of foam here, which is going to act like a gasket. Now, we do have two of these. It's only one that I'm going to need. And we need to lay this out so it exactly covers the underside of that head cover there. We want to save this for when we do the right one, which I believe is probably coming in the next pack. All we've got to do then is put the plug cap covers in. And they do have a little channel down the side here which dictates which way round they go in. So they fit flush on here. So let's get these in. I don't know if you can see the little channel just at the top there. But they do go opposite way round. You just see that one's going in a different direction to the others. Now we do have two at the end which they don't want us to fill up at the moment. But that is looking like that. And believe it or not, that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. That was a nice hefty thing to start off with uh, in pack one. So we've got eight stages. We've done the wheel. We've done the seat. Always. And people say that I should use my head as a unit of measure. <laughs> there we go. There's the seat. I'll have to give you the dimensions of my head. You can 3D print one. We've done the bonnet and the underside there. And then finally, we've done this massive section of the front of the Ferrari here. That looks absolutely brilliant. Now, if you are an Agoridge Advantage Club member and you have got the black Ferrari, I would really appreciate that while you're building this at the end of each stage, just lay all your bits out and take a picture for me and I'll put that on my social media so people can see what the black one's looking like as we go along. But uh, there you go, that's pack one of the Ferrari. If you wanna get this for yourself, put a link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.